Hi, it's Dawn H. Jones here, your HR Wise Guide. Now, when I walk through HR cases with, with employees, I've discovered that the presenting issues, however serious they are, are not necessarily the most pressing. Now, don't get me wrong, the issues are important, especially if you're facing gross misconduct allegations, for example. But the greatest challenge most people face is maintaining their self-control. So often, a large part of my work is talking people back from the cliff edge of their emotions, panic, fear, and frustration. And I know what it's like to be scared out of my mind, panicking and thinking about all kinds of scenarios. I know what it's like to lose access to my rational thought processes and go deep into the foxhole of deep and unrelenting fear. And that's a critical point I want to make in this video. It's easy to focus on the HR issues and the characters involved in your case, your perception of whether the process is fair or different variations of those scenarios. Before you know it, fear has taken control of your thoughts and your decisions. And unless you come back from that cliff edge, your fear will speak louder than even the best HR or legal advice. Fear is never a good decision maker. So self-awareness is crucial to making informed decisions. Hey, I want to be clear. I'm not saying you won't be scared, but if you allow fear to control you and bring you to the cliff edge of panic, you may make ill-informed decisions. I've seen that happen far too many times and it doesn't end well. And when the dust clears, you may end up kicking yourself and making fear-informed decisions. Now, on the other hand, I've worked with people who chose to keep their heads and manage their emotions. It was challenging for them and the fear they felt was unrelenting. In fact, I recall one guy assisted way before I started my business. He made a quality decision to battle his fears, a decision from which there was no retreat. It's a good job too, because you know what? He was involved in a complex process that lasted months. And even when he felt like giving up, he kept going. And the relief he experienced from managing his emotions helped him steer through the process and clear his fog of fear. And as he controlled his fears, he could see the details of his case clearly and he was empowered to make logical, informed decisions. Now, I know that can be a challenging journey for anyone to embark on, let alone make, but I've helped lots of employees do it. So take some deep breaths if you're panicking right now about a HR issue or case. And here are four steps to help you. Number one, make a quality decision to stay calm. Only you can do this. Number two, get help to maintain your decision. Sources include your GP, a counsellor or a trade union representative. Number three, become informed about the details of your case. Ignorance can often sorry, masquerade as fear. And fourthly, you can book a one hour clarity call with me if you need help clarifying an HR issue. These calls are suitable for one off matters. Alternatively, you can book a HR WISE package if you require ongoing advice and support on a HR issue. Now, this package includes regular consultations and personalised guidance to help you navigate your case effectively. And I'll put the links to these services in the description below this video. Now, if you find yourself close to the cliff edge, come back. Your future is far too important to be driven by fear. Get the help and the support you need to make calm and informed decisions. You can do it, all right? Now, remember to be HR wise and thrive. Bye-bye for now.